Welcome to Moving On TV and to The Awakening. Now I don't know about you, but my life is a little bit all over the place at the moment. <laughs> I go to bed really, really early or really, really late, um, watching things that I think will be interesting to pass on, watching hope, um, watching tarot cards, studying tarot cards, doing lots of things that um, I've never really thought about doing, but since we've been in this lockdown, um, suddenly all these new ideas have come to me. So what am I going to talk about today? <clears throat> As I said, I was going to put on a program every single day um, to kind of commit to doing a, a positive program for you around the awakening and to talk about the dark, which leads to the light, and how this is all kind of panning out for us and so I'm living up to my commitment <laughs> and I'm focusing and I'm doing it every single day so sorry my hair so welcome to the awakening now as I said um, in order to get into the light we have to experience the dark and I kind of explained quite a lot yesterday about where I stand on this um, how my life panned out, my um, childhood, how I grew up in a war zone, how I learned about what it felt like to grow up in wars and then the minute you leave that darkness behind you come into the light, you come back to the UK, you can sleep at night, <laughs> you relax, you know <clears throat> that there's no wars, there's nothing is going to harm you. And that, again, is you coming from the dark into the light. I also explained a little bit about the therapeutic community and where I was actually put into situations where I had to face the darkness, I had to face my childhood issues, I had to face all of the stuff that was stuck in me that was blocking me from having any happiness. And the way I was helped in there without any medication at all and at some point everything did come up and out and I got total 100% inner peace so I explained about that as well um, I, I talked a little bit about the qualities that we have as human beings as amazing spirit spiritual beings the quality that got me up again today because sometimes you wake up and it's like oh god there's no sunshine I can't be bothered this feeling of heaviness and darkness <clears throat> and then you go onto Facebook and you see that people are scared or you see that that you you know you've got a mission you've got a job to do you know whether you're a person a human or an alien that's come here to help in some way with the human race and that gives you the courage again that we talked about in The Wizard of Oz, the lion, the courage. If you haven't seen that, please go back and watch the program I put on yesterday about The Wizard of Oz. It gives you the courage to get up. It gives you the courage to live, to do something again, to, to, to experience what it is to be a human being here. <clears throat> to be a human being with this incredible courage and spirit and love and tenacity um to get up a, a, and to get out there and to do something to really do something to want to contribute in some way to this awakening so that's it as i say it what it gets me up in the morning it gives me this sense of responsibility well not the morning because i'm getting up in the afternoon people are inviting me to do zooms in the morning <clears throat> and I'm thinking yeah they'll be lucky I'd love to and I'm going to try because I want to support them <clears throat> but you could probably see my little assistant my little ginger and white assistant over there being very lazy <clears throat> sitting there relaxing doing nothing <laughs> um, so as I was saying um, people are asking me to participate in the zooms uh, 
in the morning and there is me and there is no morning anymore for me my morning is the same as the the USA you know when all my friends in America are asleep I'm asleep <laughs> everything's gone upside down and inside out so anyway so basically today as you can see I come on here to make you laugh I come on here to give you a different um, point of view and to show you that from the darkness comes the light um, again, if we talk in, in, in terms of how we live, we have the dark, we have the night, the night goes and then the day comes. And if you shine a torch, which I haven't got, on the, on, on the dusty surface like I have at the moment, you're going to see every little particle of dust. You're going to see everything that is hidden. And that's all that that means, dark to light, dark to light. And that's the reason that we are experiencing a lot of that that's coming in, a lot of the darkness, so to speak, a lot of the negative stuff, a lot of the stuff that it was hidden, without going into positive or negative, what was hidden, we're experiencing now, the same way as you come into a messy room and when it's dark, you turn the light on and there's the mess. Okay, so there's the mess, the mess, the mess that we allowed to create. We, we allowed something to create in our world. We gave it permission. We gave it permission. And we didn't, we didn't actually do the stuff that they're doing, thank God, and we wouldn't because we're human and because we have love and empathy and this thing doesn't, as far as I'm concerned. It's a machine, a machine, some kind of machine. However, we contributed by being complacent, okay? And to me, that is not what we are. That is not what we are. So I'm calling on every one of you to go inside and to think about where do I fit in this jigsaw of life? Where do I fit in the awakening? <clears throat> what can I do? Because we can do anything as a collective. We can do anything as a collective. They are just one tiny percent and we are billions. We are billions and the minute you put the light of all of us together, we, we can do anything. The minute you get a few people together in a room, they say if you get two women together in a room, you can start to solve the world problems. Neil Donald Walsh talks about in Conversations with God and I'd recommend you read Conversations with God how the world was given to us by God as a massive beautiful cake and what happened as um, in order to um, keep it the way we wanted it to be we would have sliced the cake equally so everyone got a, an equal part of the cake however something came along whatever it is that is now showing us it's not hidden anymore it's showing its face people are seeing it it came along and it sliced the cake like this so it took three quarters of it and left the rest for the rest of us of the financial of money of, of, of prosperity everything it took three quarters and left the rest for us but you could take it back now that's the whole point of the awakening. Now is the time for us to join the fellow men, all of us, men, women. <laughs> it's up to us to join now, regardless of our religions, regardless of our cultures. It's up to us to join together now and to take that cake back away from the 1% who you know who they are who have enslaved us, who are trying to enslave us, who are trying to keep us locked down now for two years. We do not consent. Or as Ralph Smart says, I ain't having it. And I ain't having it. I don't know about you. I ain't having it. And that's why I'm putting out these programs every single day. Because this is my way of showing I do not consent and I ain't having it. I am here to wake you up, I'm here to cheer you up, I'm here <clears throat> to give you a bit of tough love as well as huge amounts of nurturing because we need tough love. And the way that I woke up in the therapeutic community was through a lot of tough love. A lot of contracts, a lot of bullying, not physical, but a lot of tough love and a lot of bullying. If you want to read my story, 
It's Simply Amazing Chapter 8 by Casey Armstrong. You can contact me and you can buy the book from me. But anyway, so coming back to what I was saying, we can now collectively join because it's not about what colour you are, what age you are, it's not about what race you are, what religion you are, what you, your favourite TV show is, <clears throat> do you smoke, do you drink, that's up to you. We have a collective enemy and it's literally, there are no great bits anymore guys. You know, once upon a time you could be on the shelf, you could say, oh maybe, Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll stand up for my fellow man. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll watch Out of Shadows. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll look into the work of John Wedger and Liz Crokin and I'll find out what's really happening to the children. No, it's not like that anymore. It's very much black and white now. Our world is now extreme. You're either for the light or you're for that lot because we are basically standing up now for our lives, for our freedom, for humanity. And I always knew this. When I left wards, I knew that wards would end one day. I knew that wards would end one day because the human race would become a collective and we would forget about all our little itsy bitsy little problems that um, we were forced to think that that person is my enemy because of their colour or their race or their religion or their whatever. You know, we were educated that way to believe that. But now it's different. We have to put away our itsy bitsy little problems. And we have to face that we have one common enemy. And if you don't believe it, then I don't see how you're going to be able to get out of this. Now, a lot of people won't bother and they won't move on in any way. Fine, that's up to them. A lot of people will wake up, but they won't do anything. That's up to them. But you're not contributing if you don't do anything. This is our world. This is our planet. It doesn't matter if I feel that I came from another planet and I'm only here as a visitor or some of you have come here to heal and to teach and that's why we, we're not getting caught up anymore in what's going on around us. We're not sitting there worrying about this whatever, Doris. You know, if you don't know what Doris is, check my post. Um, I gave a name to this virus because I thought if you call it by the name of a little old lady down the street, it's NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. People won't be scared anymore. It takes the fear because it's like the mind. That's how the mind works. So I've never had any fear about this, Doris, ever. And I don't intend to go into fear. The body heals itself and we know how to do it. I'll talk about that in another program. So, um... Coming back to what I was saying, some of us are here to take your mind off things, to make you laugh, to make you feel positive. That's me through Moving On TV. This is now my work to show you the dark, to show you some programs that I bring up the dark, but mainly to lighten the load because <clears throat> by lightening the load, I, I'm the, ent I'm the um, entertainment groups that used to go around the army in the Second World War. Because this is the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh world wars. This is the war of the planets. This is everything. And once we get through this, that's it. We, will, we have this huge awakening. It's already happening where people cannot go to sleep again. It's impossible to go to sleep again. Because once you know the truth, you will find what your part is in this jigsaw of life. Now, you may just be just, you may be a parent, and your job is to make sure that your child is safe, to protect that child, to not let them have that needle, if you know what I mean. Do your research. This is not for the good of your children. It's not for the good of anyone. We are free people and the awakening is to bring us all together collectively from all over the world, on the internet, through our meditations, like when we did that global meditation with a million people meditating at the same time in order to create the world that we want, not the world that they want, 
the world that they want, those who took more than three quarters of the cake and let people die of hunger, starvation, no water. They took everything. They took our dreams, our hopes. Well, guess what? They never took mine. Yes, I've had times, like, even today, where I get depressed, I feel like I want to break, I want to cry, and I do it. Give yourself the opportunity to feel everything. But my darlings, my sweethearts, everyone who's watching this, please watch and share. My job is to make you happy. My job is to tell you that you are amazing, unique human beings. And even if you get up today and you feel like you want to shout at someone, or get angry with your husband because there's no cat litter and your cat is walking up and down the poor thing and you haven't got a car to get out. It happens. It doesn't mean that you still can't tap back into the love that you are for that person that forgot to buy the cat litter. It doesn't mean that you cannot tap into your love for humanity even if you're on your own and no one is here with you. And that's me a lot of the time. So you breathe through it and you make another program for moving on TV. And that is my job, to entertain you. Let me entertain you. Welcome to the awakening. So I sat and I watched Ralph Smart last night and there was a really long uh, stream that he did. And I really want to bring him on because that man is pure love. And you can see the light in his eyes. You can see the positivity. I love watching him because he makes me feel good. He never ever, de de what's the word I'm looking for? He never undermines you as a human being. He builds you up. He makes you feel good like I do, like I'm trying to do and I hope it's working. He makes you feel like you are unique. You're a unique being and setting aside all your issues, as I said, as a human that is struggling with what's going on in our world because it's not ideal and it's not easy. It's not easy for any of us. We get up every day and we're not sure anymore. So we have to live with this uncertainty. And the most important thing you have to do is live in the moment because it's best to do that because nothing can harm you today in this moment, nothing. There is nothing that can harm you today in this moment. So sit in the moment, breathe. Eat some beautiful fruit, cuddle your cats. Take out a piece of paper and write down, these are my dreams. This is everything that I've ever wanted to do with my life. Create a Zoom, do a Facebook Live and say, hi guys, I'm struggling today. Contact me. You can always contact me. 07437-532798. Lauren.movingontv. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Lauren at movingontv.uk. Lauren at movingontv.uk. And I'm not going to edit this because I'm human and I make mistakes. It'll be up there anyway somewhere. Lauren at movingontv.uk. You can find me on Facebook, I'm Moving On TV, and Twitter, Moving On TV. I'll put all of that by the little Moving On TV symbol. Uh, I'm looking for a better webcam <laughs> to do my Zooms. And if you feel you want to donate something, please feel free to donate or buy a pack of cards or buy one of my books. So contact me. Um, so when I was coming back to basically saying... Today is all about where do I fit, where do you fit in the jigsaw of life and how to rise above every day and stay in the moment. When you do what you love, you stay in the moment. Like for example, how can you stay in the moment? This is a beautiful crystal that I got from the Positivity Center, which I hope to do an interview with at some point. It's a beautiful crystal. Now this crystal, when you hold it and you observe the colors and the textures, you feel it, you use all your senses. If you can't stay in the moment, get yourself a crystal or something that you can, that you can see the colors in it, you can see the shades, you can feel the textures in it. 
bring yourself into the moment, say, I feel it, I feel this in the moment, I feel this, I see this, use all your senses, I can feel the cold sensation on my face of this beautiful crystal, I can smell, because it's got some oils on it, that's how you stay in the moment, that's how you stay in the moment guys, so there you go, so that's the awakening for today. I hope it helped you. I love you so much and I'm looking forward to hearing from you and please share this video, please watch the other videos, please come on to Moving On TV. I'm always looking for people to host shows, to be part of the shows um, and sponsors, you know, I'm not putting any adverts on at the moment. I'm not putting any adverts on at the moment, but there is a funny advert going out where I'm looking, uh, Edith Piaf is looking. She's looking for um, someone to sponsor Moving On TV who does natural products and natural makeup, only natural, no, nothing. That's all Lauren uses, very basic, uh, organic, no SLS, no parabens, nothing like that. So I love you lots. And in the next few episodes, I'll talk about the awakening and the mind, body, spirit, how to take care of it, and let me know what you want me to talk about. But I'm bringing the hope and the glory back into your lives. That is my logo, that is my motto, and I hope that you have a beautiful day where you can experience all the hope in the world, know where you fit, and if you don't, I can help you, so contact me, we'll barter. Love you lots. Peace. Take care. Bye-bye. Um, a How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World card. Let's do some cards. A uh, card. Because these are the cards that I created, that I channeled. How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World. Um, after I left the therapeutic community and when I was in the wheelchair which again, I'll tell you more. You, as I say, you can read my story in Simply Amazing. Get the book from me. Simply Amazing. I'm chapter eight, but there's loads of wonderful stories in there of people who woke up or did amazing things. That's why it's called Simply Amazing. <laughs> I'm very proud to be in it. You can get it from the Positivity Center. I don't know if they sell it by, send it to you by post, but you can contact them. I'll put their details on at the end of the video. Okay, so today, today we've got structure. So let me read this. Great, you chose the structure card. With a head like mine, I have to have some structure in my day. <laughs> Going to the community three days a week for nearly two years really helped focus and calm my washing machine head. <laughs> so today you need to create some sort of structure, some kind of plan that you can follow to the best of your ability. Now you also have to have a fallback plan because of the lack of certainty in our world, yeah. People get sick or have their own issues at times, so make sure your fallback plan is very realistic. This is very good for overactive minds like ours. It will help you keep more focused. And if, like me, you are scared of change, your reaction won't be too extreme because you will have another plan in place just in case. So today, I have some structure today, which will help me to stay sane and also a fallback plan just in case. I have some structure today, which will help me to stay sane and also a fallback plan just in case. So get yourself some structure today. That is really, really, really important. Now, if you want to get the cards, as I said, you can get them from me. The 10 pounds plus postage, how to stay sane in a crazy world. And um, very quickly, I'm going to do a uh, course in miracles for you as well today. What is the course in miracles? Because these are the things, these are part of the awakening as far as I'm concerned, very positive affirmations. So today, let me be still and listen to the truth. Now, what did I say to you guys? Let me be still and listen to the truth. So basically, that means you go inside, you close your eyes, 
he asks, where do I fit in the awakening? And the truth will be there. And the truth will set you free. So let me be still and listen to the truth. Love you lots. And that was just a little code seal for today. Take care now. Bye-bye. Peace, shalom. Salam, shanti.